Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 63, Stormfront by Jim Butcher. This book captured me from the opening to the end. I loved it. It was creepy, exciting, hilarious, and extremely moody. The dark humor of the main character, Harry Dresden, was spot on. While reading this book, I was terrified, sad, excited, intrigued, extremely interested, laughed hard many, many times, and felt the stand-up and cheer moment many times as well. If the main character of this book had a boring personality, I think I would still have liked it because the story and everything that happened was so cool. But the main character is extremely interesting, hilarious. You feel sorry for him, you cheer for him, and you get little snippets of his past that aren't explained that make you really want to know more of his past. He's extremely easy to relate to, and he's a mystery. You've got to read this book to see how Jim Butcher pulled that off. I'm thrilled that this is only the first book in a very long series. Judging from how awesome this book was, I can easily see how fans clamor for more. I can't wait to read book two. As I write this, there are 16 books in the series, including one book of short stories. Dang, 15 novels. This isn't the only series of books he writes, either. He's a busy writer, and I'm really glad because this book was many things that made it rich. Dark and gritty, yet hilarious. The world the main character, Harry Dresden, lives in is full of mysteries and complexities, and you only get to see the tip of the iceberg in this book. I can't wait to read more books in the series to find out more about the world and how it works. There are vampires, demons, and all kinds of creatures from the never-never. It's scary and cool, and I want to read all about it. This is the start of a beautiful friendship between the many books in the series and I. If a story of a private detective who also happens to be a wizard solving cases, who makes you laugh really hard with his dialogue and monologue, who is confronting magical beings, dealing with the cops, getting attacked by criminals, and who is constantly in trouble with the White Council of Magic. Sounds interesting to you? And how can it not? Then you need to read this book. Uh, Just as an aside, this is not part of the review, but man, that was like the most epic run-on sentence I've ever written. Grammatically incorrect, but full of passion. I'm cool with it. All right. Let's get back to that review. The last thing I'll say is this. The main reason I read this book is that I've heard the main character gets the crap beat out of him to the point where he's just about dead by the end of the book. I'm a writer, and I've found that I have trouble putting my characters through hell like Jim Butcher does to his character, Harry Dresden. I'm hoping to learn just how an accomplished author pulls this off. I've already learned a lot, and I can't wait to learn more as I read the rest of the books in the series. So many books, so little time. Yes! Oh man, I loved this book, and I seriously still haven't uh, gone through the second one. I need to get on that, and then just keep on going. Actually, I remember telling a few people this year... One of my main reading goals was to try and read a whole bunch of the Dresden Files series, so I better get on that. It's already uh, almost halfway through the year. Um, Anyways, I have some great news for you guys. Since this podcast is sponsored by Audible, I have a sweet deal for you guys. It's not even a deal. It's more just like an awesome free gift. 
if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a copy of any audiobook of your choice, and they pretty much have them all. But I'm recommending this week Stormfront by Jim Butcher. It's narrated by James Marsters, and as soon as you hear these audiobooks, you'll realize you can't imagine anyone else narrating them. One thing I didn't mention in my review is that Stormfront is in first person, and the narrator, James Marsters, is, is just the perfect voice for Harry Dresden. Just so much attitude, and like I said, dark and moody. This guy pulls it off perfectly. It really just sounds like the main character is sitting across the bar from you, telling you his story, and it's just fantastic to listen to. So, check it out audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews for your free audiobook and a free 30-day trial of Audible's awesome services. I am an Audible member myself. It's how I get most of my reading done, so I highly recommend them. It's how you can get tons of audiobooks way cheaper than any other, other way I know of. And, uh, yeah, check it out. audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. And if you do that and get a free audiobook, you're helping support the show. So thank you, Audible, and thanks to you. Now, let's get back to that review. Oh, man. Oh, so this is, uh, like, urban fantasy. If you're a reader of genre fiction or speculative fiction, I'm sure you've heard of the Dresden Files and have probably even read them. Um, but, uh, and from what I hear from my friends, they only get better further along in the series. And, like, like I said, the world is just kind of hinted at. But from those hints, you can tell that it's a really rich and deep world with all kinds of amazing mythology behind it, behind the magic, who's in charge of it, who controls it, all of the different creatures that exist in this world from vampires to, I believe, goblins and all kinds of scary monsters. So I seriously cannot wait to dig into the next book, and uh, hopefully I'll be getting through a lot more of those books this year. I'm still... Uh, about two years behind as far as when I read a review for this podcast it's a review that I wrote about two years ago so hopefully I can keep getting these out every week and catch up on that anyways I just can't recommend this enough um, I just loved the detective work that Harry Dresden does he prides himself in being a really good detective and he also happens to be a wizard so he works with the police, even though a lot of them like just think he's a nutter and don't even believe in the stuff. And um, the relationship that he has with the other characters is a lot of times very antagonistic, which makes for really fun reading because, I mean, he just gets beat up all over the place verbally, physically, magically. It's really a fun ride, and I can't wait to see what my friends mean when they say that the books only get better further in the series as he developed as an author because uh, I think this is one of his earliest or first published books and he's published so many more since then so I gotta dig into this guy and really learn from him but also I just really enjoy the story so fun to read or listen to check it out Stormfront by Jim Butcher if you haven't already most of you probably have but that's all I've got for you guys this week I've made some more headway. I'm in about uh, chapter 9 of 50 on my revision process through my novel. So hopefully pretty soon I'll be done revising it so I can get it to beta readers. It's called Haunted House Flipper. And it's sort of uh, in the same genre as the Jim Butcher books, except that it's a realtor who has magical items that he can use to get evil spirits to leave houses. So instead of ghosts, he finds out they're actually demons. There's no such things as ghosts. And he can use this magical sword he has to fight off demons to leave houses. So he can go and buy haunted houses super cheap because no one else wants to buy them, get the spirits out of there, and then renovate them for a huge profit. That's his plan anyway. You'll have to read it to see what actually happens. If you want to be a beta reader, you can actually read the first almost 10 chapters right now on Wattpad. Just look for my name, Dan Absalonson, or search Haunted House Flipper, or contact me. You can find out how to do that on my website at dandandtheartman.com. On Instagram, I'm dandandtheartman underscore author. And um, 
I'll let Mike tell you about the rest of the places to find me, but that's all I got for you guys this week, so I hope you're having a great year of reading. I would love to hear what your summer reading lists are. Just go to dandantheartman.com and leave a comment or hit me up on social media. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, talk to you next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.